How's it going? Let's talk about uh, Aerodrome because we are having a price discovery moment at the mo at tonight. Um, and right now it's at two dollars. And let me just refresh this just to give you guys the two dollars and twenty four cents. It hit about two thirty earlier, uh, but we are right now at about two twenty five for Arrow. And um, basically, what happened here around uh, we actually got the pump at around uh, seven ten p.m. So about two hours ago. Um, we had that massive breakout in Aerodrome at about uh, 2, I think it was like at 205. You can kind of see that the price really ramped up here at about 705 when it was right underneath 2. Someone, someone decided to just kind of rip it here and then we just went into price discovery mode. So the question here is, is this a sustainable rally? And is that whole SEC video that I did yesterday going to somehow impact Aerodrome at these levels? And the answer is, we do have still the risk. I'm still sticking with the fact that the SEC risk is still kind of lingering over it. But there is another piece of the puzzle that I think I didn't really cover yesterday, which I didn't really anticipate. One is that we are seeing and detecting that the Uniswap SEC um, battle is probably going to indirectly benefit Aerodrome. And the reason is simple. The volume that's coming in from Uniswap as people flee the protocol because they may be afraid of what's happening with the regulation, especially the LPs, are probably going to start migrating over to another DEX. And Aerodrome is right in the perfect spot because on April 22nd, they're going to introduce Slipstream to their protocol. Now, Velodrome has already introduced that. And what we're already seeing for Velodrome is these concentrated liquidity pools, which are insanely, insanely high. Now, this is very, very good because what this does is it creates a preview of what Aerodrome could potentially be facing with. Now, the price on Velodrome has not been moving as much. And, and again, it, it just kind of really depends on the ecosystem. But these 2000 percentages are going to come to Aero. And the reason this is important is because it's going to start to attract more liquidity providers away from projects like Uniswap, which unfortunately right now are going to have to go to battle with a government agency. Now, the other thing also that's very important is the timing of this event. April 22nd is going to mark a couple of days after the halving cycle. And I suspect that they did that on purpose because historically speaking, halving cycles occur where Bitcoin goes up and then the altcoins come right after that. By allowing liquidity providers to come in and juicing up the APRs right smack on altcoin season, I think that Aerodrome has a very, a very good chance of taking this run to the next level. Now, here is the other thing that I want you to understand. And this is the part that a lot of people don't really, really fully understand the scope of this. Aerodrome right now, as I speak uh, for, uh, from this price right here, is at $1.8 billion market cap, fully diluted. Okay, now some people might say that this is expensive. Now I'm going to tell you guys why this is actually cheap. The reason is because if you take a look at Aerodrome's metrics, and they their TVL is currently at 717 million. Now what this generally means is that you're going to be buying Aerodrome at half of its fully diluted market cap, approximately, you know, less than half. That to me is a really good discount. But the big thing that makes it very interesting is that this fully diluted market cap does not take into account the emissions that have yet to be hit, be hit the market. So at this point, there is no supply. There's not enough supply at the moment to actually fully realize the 1.8. So the market cap right now is at... Uh, 3.358. Now let me go back to CoinGecko because CoinGecko tends to be a little bit more accurate sometimes with Arrow. And what's going to happen here is you're going to start to see that your fully market cap in here, this is actually the uh, fully um, circular supply. So this is actually the, the, the more correct one. At $2.24, it's trading at 904 for 2.1 billion. So okay, so let me use this one instead because the other one obviously was incorrect. If you go back and take a look at the fully diluted market cap of $905 million, you will be buying it at still a little bit under, a little bit more than um, half. So we're looking at a F, we're looking at a percentage that is still under, um, that is still not even like, 
I would say more than half of its market cap by 0 0.8, 0 0.9. So they don't actually have one here for a full developed market cap um, calculation. Oh, here it is. <laughs> I'm doing the math in my head. You're getting a fully diluted uh, market cap. So if I take a look at the fully diluted with this, you're getting about a 0 0.41 market cap over fully diluted. Now, the reason why this is important is because you want these ratios to not to be, um, let's just say, uh, as close as possible to each other. But if this gets too small, then it's definitely has enough juice to move up because there's not a lot of supply. So right now, this is actually pretty healthy. The fact is that it's about a little bit less than half of the circling supply that's out there. But what makes this very interesting to me is that you're at $2.1 billion dollars but your TVL is already at seven. And this is actually accelerating a lot faster than the actual market cap. So there's a like window here of opportunity for the market to actually reprice this to something a little higher. Now, to give you a context of how this is going to definitely work here, I have a price target of about $20 for Aerodrome. Now, I'm not sure if we're gonna get to that point, it may be $10, but I definitely believe that this is so undervalued at the moment based off what I'm seeing with the ecosystem. If Aerodrome continues to grow, it continues to grow. And let me explain why that's important. If Aerodrome continues to grow at an exponential rate, the repricing of the token is going to come next. Okay. So let me give you something like base as an example, okay? So on base right here for DeFi Llama, you could see just in the last seven days, we've gone up about 24%. Now here's where it's gonna get interesting. Currently Uniswap is number two. However, if the SEC case really starts to kick in hard, high gear, this is gonna start to drop and guess where all the volume is gonna go? Exactly, it's gonna go back up here. And so if we take a look at this DEX volume right here, we should be seeing Uniswap kind of having a little bit of a slowdown. You're already starting to see it here. Um, this one, we don't really see Uniswap, but if we take a look at the base ecosystem, that's where we're going to start to see it because of the rewards. Okay. All right. Well, without going into further, um, further with the government and the regulation and all that, I think you guys kind of know the drill. The drill is you stack on Aerodrome here. Um, I don't know how, how high we're going to get to. Uh, tonight, maybe it'll take a couple more days, but overall, I think it looks very promising as far as how high we can go. And I, I suspect that we're probably going to have a couple more days of movement, but my target here would be $5 uh, for this, this entire run here. So if Aerodrome can get to about five, basically doubling up its uh, market cap from these levels, which would put it at about $2 billion market cap. I think that's going to be a very interesting point. The other thing also I want to mention is, and so from these levels, it will be 118%. The other thing I also want to mention is Velodrome is basically still, still trying to play catch up here. Okay. So that's another play that potentially could come into play later, but this is another one that I'm watching very carefully. All right. Hopefully you enjoy this video. See you.